out. Capture zone changing location. Get there. Capture zone contested. Friendly's capturing. Oh yeah, watch out for that bunny hopping sniper. <laughs> What's going on guys? We're back in it for another one. You know what it is. And we're going to be pretty busy with Black Ops 6 for a little bit. So I thought it would be the perfect time with the update dropping tomorrow. I thought it might be the perfect time to drop a little X Defiant video. I'm seeing a lot of doom and gloom out here on the socials. Even from super fanboys. I'm getting recommended videos from channels I've never even heard of before. And these were like super fans of the game. Like they... I'm not saying they were part of that cult mob that used to attack you if you said anything remotely critical about the game. Like, it was rough for a while. If you said anything negative about X Defiant, they were worse than these COD addicts, man. These COD nerds. These super fanboy, you know, just chilling out for Activision, Knob Goblin, and the whole nine. They were worse than that. Like, how dare... They were playing X Defiant before its inception, man. It was running through their blood. How dare you say anything negative about the game? I'm not saying they were a part of that mob, but they definitely super fanboys kind of like that. And they're making videos saying they're done with X Defiant. They're walking away. And of course, you got the nerds. You got the super beta male giga nerds. They hated X Defiant before it dropped. They hated it before they played it. There's nerds out here because they're COD super fans, straight up giga geeks. They still haven't played this game and they already know they hate it just because they think it's like some type of threat. <laughs> to call of duty i've been saying this since the beginning man you you're a special breed if you ever thought this game was gonna kill or hurt cod x defiant was never gonna kill call of duty man only dumb people thought that real dumb stupid beta males and we got them out here trying to say that this game is dead it is not dead in its current state but it's definitely hurting at this juncture and it's hurting for everything I've been talking about in my videos this whole time. But I'm only a small channel. And even if some people heard me say certain things, they're, they need to keep their narrative going when they're trying to suck off these other YouTubers that they love so much. They're hero YouTubers, right? Because they're hero YouTubers don't like people who criticize Call of Duty as well. So they need to run with that narrative, man. I'm getting screenshots from the homie subscribers sometimes. About a couple of these nerds that just can't keep my name out of their mouth. And they're always running and talking some shit in comment sections and other videos about me. And they can't even get their goddamn facts straight, man. Like, everything they say about me is a lie. It's hilarious, man. I was, I was one of the first people out here talking about all the shit. Breaking it all down. I broke down how this game is clunky. How it feels like a cheap knockoff of Call of Duty. If you guys watch my videos... From the beginning, you already know that I would rather just play Call of Duty with streaks and the whole night, the fluidity of Call of Duty. I would rather play that, but without the bullshit. X Defiant's got the matchmaking. Call of Duty's got that toxic bullshit matchmaking with shit ass servers. Cheaters running wild, but we got cheaters in X Defiant too. But you guys know, like, I've been talking about this since the beginning. I was one of the first people out here breaking down the store and how, even though it's a free to play game, the store is complete bullshit and X Defiant. Long before we were even close to the release date, I was out here in videos breaking down the net code, and it's actually better now than what it was back then. It's still not where it needs to be, but I was out here breaking all this shit down, how this game should have dropped during Modern Warfare Deuce. They made a mistake waiting for Modern Warfare Deuce and Half when Sledgehammer Games fixed Modern Warfare Deuce's mistakes. I was out here speaking on this shit. All the homies that don't miss any of my videos, and I appreciate you guys for that, I almost sound like a broken record at this point. How many times have you heard me say, if they don't fix this sooner than later, it's just going to chase people off the game. They're going to uninstall and never touch the game again. X Defiant being a free-to-play game, it's a double-edged sword. There's a pro and there's a con to it. The pro, yeah, it's free-to-play. People are more inclined to try a free-to-play game. The con, it's free-to-play People are more inclined to just give up on the game. They don't feel they haven't wasted any money on it. There's no loss there. It's like, okay, this this game is boring. It's lacking content. This game is frustrating. I'm tired of the bunny hops. I'm tired of the snipers. I'm tired of the net code. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. And they just uninstall. There's no losses there. When people pay their hard-earned money for a game, if it's frustrating them or whatever it is, they're gonna give it a little bit more time because it's like, damn, dude, I just wasted that fucking money. You know, I'm, I'm we'll try it again tomorrow type deal. We're a free-to-play game. They're just they're done, dude. When they, they hit that point, 
that they don't want to play the game anymore. They're just frustrated or bored, whatever. That's it, man. I'm gone. I always thought it was hilarious to people that straight up compared X Defiant to Call of Duty. I broke down in so many videos how it's just, it's not a comparable, man. We, we had a tight little alternative when we're frustrated with Call of Duty. Competition is healthy for both games. We all, as consumers, we should all want that. But of course, you got the <clears throat> beta males, and they try to make a point about skill-based matchmaking not being a problem in COD because X Defiant was sweaty or whatever. Like, you know, I made a video on X Defiant about how I want to see a lot of these games get away from old gen. I understand people with money struggles, man. I've already broke this down in many videos as well, too. I get it. Everybody's situation is different. I understand. But we've had these consoles now for a while. It's time for these games to maximize what they can do. It's time for a game like Call of Duty to get away from old gen, but Call of Duty is still dropping on old gen. I made a video breaking down how I think it was a mistake for X Defiant not dropping this game on old gen. There, there's no reason, in my opinion, that this game, what we see, the graphics here with X Defiant, there's no reason why this can't run on old gen consoles at 60 frames and steady 60 frames. We still got a huge percentage of gamers stuck on old gen. And these are more casuals. They're not in a rush to get new gen consoles. And they're tight. A lot of them are tighter for money. So, of course, they're going to try out a free to play, a new free to play game that's similar to Call of Duty. You're missing out on so many potential customers with skins and battle passes and your matchmaking. It would just open up your matchmaking. To you, you want to talk about that old, like, just with your matchmaking, feeling like that OG, old school Call of Duty? It would just open it up so much more. But we don't have that with X Defiant. We still have it with Call of Duty, and Call of Duty don't need it. Call of Duty's got more money than God himself. Call of Duty's still dropping on old gen. You got so many more casuals on Call of Duty, but we don't see them because of the bitch-ass matchmaking. X Defiant would thrive so much more if it was on old gen consoles. And now we got the cringy ass super sweats that are still on X Defiant, grinding it every day, sweating their ass off, bunny hopping their little hearts out, directional bunny hopping until they shit their pants. <laughs> like they're out here crying because the update that's coming up. I'm not going to go through the whole thing with you guys. I'll just put a little screenshot up here. You guys can check it out. But they're nerfing the bunny hop a little bit. Like you could still, for all you bunny hop crack addicts, you can still get your three hops before you see any penalties there. They're nerfing the air strafing a little bit. And the crouch spammers, you guys are, you know, there's a little bit of a nerf there for you as well, too. So W changes, in my opinion. These people have been chasing the casuals off the game, and they don't care. They just want X Defiant to be the super sweaty, just fucking cesspool for them. And now they're complaining about all the sweats in the game, which is hilarious to me. Like, this is, what did you think was going to happen, man? This, this is the type of shit you want in the game. Nobody's saying that we want a game here with no fucking movement at all and everybody's camping. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants an Infinity Ward game here. But some of this shit is absolutely ridiculous. And then this is still, in my opinion, this is a W update, but it's still not enough. And I was going to come out here and say, you know what? Just don't alienate the sweats that are left on your game. Just keep actually make the bunny hopping worse for them get them happy right so they could just bunny hop until their little hearts content because they feel like a man when they're doing really good in a video game i was gonna come out here and say listen man don't don't try to go for the casuals anymore because you lost a bunch of them but looking at this omni movement we have over here in black Ops six i could see this chasing some people off of call of duty and when they get off call of duty they're going to be looking for another game to play you might be on to something here like i think for X to I don't think it's dying, but I, I like I think like I said before, I think it's hurting. I think the right changes need to be made. I think if X Defiant comes out with a banger update, I'm talking about like you fix a net code, you drop a gang of maps, like four, five, maybe six maps, just a whole bunch of content, just freshen up the game like that. I, I could see you bringing a lot of people back to the game, especially with that Omni movement in Black Ops 6, bro. I'm telling you right now, when casuals get their hands on that game and that Omni movement, when people really start to learn that and abuse that, I could see it chasing people right off the game. Just stick with it. Stick with X Defiant. Keep working on the net code and all this other shit that's wrong with the game. Everything I've been breaking down in my videos. And it's funny, though. I think that's the reason. Like, I think Mark doesn't like me too much. Man. I see him. I see him talking to other people like channels way smaller than mine. 
you know, he doesn't acknowledge me at all, man. I remember I talked to him back in the ghost days on Twitter real quick, and then he disappeared with that game. You know, I don't think he I don't think he likes me too much, man, because I've just I just want a good game. And like I've said in all my videos, man, we need to give this game more time, but it's understandable with all the problems that are still here why people have stopped playing the game. This is what I've been saying this whole time, man. It's going to chase people off the game. It's just going to stop fucking playing, man. I'm not saying what I'm saying to hate on the game. I'm trying to get it into a good place, a healthy place, so it can compete with Call of Duty. And both of them kind of putting a little pressure on each other to put out the best content they can, work on their matchmaking a little bit more, make it more consumer-friendly matchmaking. I want to support a developer that's preaching no skill-based matchmaking in what's supposed to be your casual pubs. I'm still going to be here, man. I was chased off the game a little bit. Haven't been playing much lately because that season one update really just, man, it was it was awful. That season one update was terrible for X to find. It was damn near unplayable on PS5. And it just kind of like, I don't know, took the wind out of my sails, I guess. So I haven't been playing the game that much. But I'm still going to be here. I'm going to give the game more time. Just keep doing what y'all are doing, the team over there and Mark. Just keep working at the game, keep picking at it, keep trying to fix it, and get some content in here, man. It is, your game is starving for content. Pretty much everything we have here is shit we seen like over a year ago on the first test, on those closed tests. We need some actual content in here, man. Just do whatever you have to do and make it happen. If you want to see this game thrive, you know, it's, people like myself, we're going to come back, man. Just do the right thing. That's all I got for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you on the next one.